Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP1. We start this video with the launch of massive Naga Heavy Rocket. This pentaborane fuel beast carries Cythera 2, crewed vessel that will be heading to Venus orbit. As the name suggests, it's the second time I'll be sending Cruder. This time the mission architecture is a bit simplified as the whole craft is launched in one go instead of dealing with orbital construction. It is possible thanks to before mentioned Naga Heavy with its 500 ton to Leo capability and switching from anti-ARS to Hydrolux propulsion, which saved a lot of volume so it was possible to fit the payload inside of the Freyrick. Crew still launches using separate rocket because of safety reasons. They rendezvous in orbit, perform docking and are ready for the departure. Nearly 4000 meters per second transfer burn is performed by three AG3 engines. After it's complete, stage separates, revealing a massive heat shield that will allow for propulsionless orbit insertion. Crew has quite a spacious habitat and proper radiation shielding to ensure their comfort and safety. Nearly four months later, Cytera 2 arrives to Venus. Tiny course correction ensures that the ship will achieve desired orbit after air raking. Everything went as planned, solar panels are extended again, and the heat shield is jettisoned. Seven RD-301 engines light up to raise perapsis out of the atmosphere. And once again to lower apoapsis. Then return burn is planned and the crew begins scientific activities in this hostile environment. And in the meantime, Romulus' crew is still in orbit of Mars. After almost three years from leaving Earth, they begin preparation for coming back home. Empty tanks that used to hold fuel and supplies are being jettisoned to minimize departure mass. There is still some food in one of the storages, so the vessel is put in the standby mode to be possibly used in the future missions. From 
Romulus orients itself towards target node and nuclear Artemar rockets pull up slowly. After the main burn, small correction is planned, uh, so the MCV will end up encountering the moon. Plan is to reach the lunar orbit and to retrieve crew afterwards. Transfer will take 272 days, so it would be just enough time to get the Saitira 2 crew back home. Not wasting any minute, all of the engines light up and the vessel is accelerating to escape velocity. In just 3 months, crew will be recovered by rescue teams. According to the plan, Satira 2 enters Earth's SOI, then the capsule separates and astronauts barely manage to remain conscious during a violent re-entry. Finally, they splash down in the ocean and their mission comes to the end. Now we can come back to Romulus MCV and it is approaching Earth as well. It is aiming straight to the moon, which will be its parking spot until it will be used again. Right before capture, the crew has reported low levels of food, water and oxygen. Supplies were calculated to last just this long to save on mass. Romulus has begun its breaking burn using leftover fuel in the drop tanks. And as soon as they were empty, they were dropped. After achieving highly elliptical orbit, a small correction at Apollo was made to enter the same orbital plane as the tower station for easier resupply. Then the final circularization took place and the Brave crew began preparation to come back home. They gathered all their stuff and experiments and also they had to refuel a capsule. Finally, they've separated from Romulus and burned home. At this point, it was quite a routine activity, so everything went flawlessly.
Hartmut Weber, Katrin Jenkins, Valdemar Köhler and Vasil Limonov landed safely in undisclosed location, becoming first ever crew to land on a different planet. Thank you everyone for watching, please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you again in my next video.